Hello everybody. In today's video we take a look at Power Automate from Microsoft and how we can use it to log into SAP. With Power Automate you can create and configure automated workflows using drag and drop. So we have some preconditions to use Power Automate. First we log into our SAP system we want to use today. And okay. And here we have to open the transaction R set eleven. And here we have to change one parameter SAP GUI slash user scripting. And we have to set this to true. So in my case it's already true, but if if it is false, we type here the new value true. And then we click on save. So that was the first precondition. Now we close this window and we click here on options. Then folder accessibility and scripting. Then on scripting and here we click the checkbox enable scripting. The other three checkboxes we leave, we leave an empty. So then we click on apply and now we create here a new flow. We click on the button new flow. Then we pick a name. So for example SAP login and we want to call a transaction. So I write here T code call. Click on create. And now we see a new window with different actions on the left side. And the cool thing is we have some actions especially for SAP. So we type in here in the input field SAP. And here we see SAP automation at first we launch to an SAP system. So let's drag and drop this launch SAP menu. Then here we have to insert some connection settings, server description for example. This is the server name which we can found in the SAP GUI. So I show this to you. So I open the SAP GUI then we have different folders and in the connection folder we see the name of the system. So in my case A4H 2022. Then the client, username and password and last the language. Then we click on save and now we can already try if it works. So we click on the button run. We see SAP GUI starts and we are locked in in this system. Okay, so that works. The next step is um, we want to call a transaction. So for this, I picked a um, start SAP transaction entry and here I type in the transaction code SE16 for example. Click on save and now let's run these two workflow steps. It should work. We see SAP GUI starts, we are locked in. Okay, that was really fast, so slow motion again. Here the settings are passed to the input fields and the transaction SE16 is started. So we see the data browser. Okay, next we want to input some a table name in this input field. And for this we have another entry populate SAP text field, drag and drop and then we click on the button here 
select SAP element. Then we pick the, this input field and we press Ctrl and the left mouse button. Then we type in here the table name as flight. And if the field is not empty, the text will be replaced. Then we save this. Here I type in the table name and then we want to click on this button. So for this I pick the click SAP UI element, entry and here again we click on the button select SAP field here table contents then again control plus left mouse click and now we should see all table entries from the table S flight. Oh no, we see we should see the input mask from the table S flight. So let's see. Login works and here we see the data browser. We see the available fields from the table S flight. So now we can set the care ID for example with another populate SAP text field element. We pick this field, control, left mouse click, and we type here LH for Lufthansa, for example. I only want to browse the Lufthansa records. After that, we want to click this button. So again, click SAP UI element. Again, select SAP element, this one, and we click on save. Okay, so now let's close the GUI window and let's close the SAP logon and let's run the different workflow steps. Okay, again, SAP GUI, log into the system. Oh, that was really fast. So again, slow motion, log into the SAP system, user and password are passed here. Then we call the transaction. We see the steps here on the left side. Step four, click GUI element, step five, step six, and so on. And here we have the result. So that works pretty well in my opinion. And you can compare it to the VBA with the script, Excel script, and I think the drag and drop feature are pretty, pretty cool and pretty easy to use and pretty easy to configure. Okay. Yeah. Last, now we have saved the, the workflow. Now we can start the flow here in this power automate overview window to see if it works. Looks good. Yeah works again and as I said before it's really easy to use especially the drag and drop feature is pretty nice pretty nice to configure pretty nice to change or adapt the different steps and so on okay yes at the end as always don't forget to subscribe give me a thumbs up and write something in the comments take care and see you in the next video